Okay, um, I decided that I'm going to do a bit of a vlog around the redo of my library and the shelving. So this is going to be the before portion <laughs> of this project and it is um, a cloudy day so we'll see how we do but it's a mess but I'm going to show you kind of what we're doing here. It is my hope that we will be much more organized when we get the new shelving in and we will finish painting in here. And then there's some other things we're gonna do in here that I will let you know when we do the big, I guess, reveal or as we're doing it, you know, I might do that too. We might just do a work in progress, filming, vlogging, but um, he's building the shells of them now, and um, we're looking at an install of next week. Yeah, and we're going to be away for a couple of days, so it's not going to be an overnight success in terms of installation and um, us doing our part, but it will happen. And then we have to go to the shed. I want to try to sell these bookshelves um, on the marketplace locally and through Facebook. And we have to go to the shed, get all the other books of boxes of books out, then get them all sorted and organized and then get them in. So it's going to be, um, yeah, it's going to be something that's going to take some time. But I'm so, so, so excited to begin. I'll keep you posted. Okay, I got a good bit done tonight, finally. All these shelves are empty. Gotta get the stuff off the top. These, oh, there's a little stack of books we're keeping and then there's another stack of books that is for my to read or not to read project, so don't look. And then I just got this one all done too. So tomorrow, I'll be working on this one. And that's not bad. And then you're wondering, what did I do with, we still haven't finished painting the wainscoting. <laughs> what did I do with the books? They're here. My daughter was here this weekend and made the bed and oh my, she did not make it well. So they're here. <laughs> and here so that last bookshelf should fit very well um right there 
and then they'll all be in one place, except for the ones that we have in the shed. The books that we have in the shed are some Nancy Drews, lots of them, and some that didn't fit on the shelves, so we packed them up when we had the house on the market. So that's, those gotta go, we gotta go through those and sort them and organize them where they go. So, yeah. But today's Tuesday and the bookshelves are coming Thursday, Friday. So I still have all day tomorrow to get those books out and I'm not gonna be able to work on it all day, but um, cause I'm working, but I have tomorrow to get those books out really quickly. And then we're gonna do something with those shelves. I'm assuming they're going to the storage shed. I really don't know. We, I just, I don't know. Anyway, um, lots of progress today, finally. Day one of installation, we have this wall and this bit cleared. And these are still there because they're heavy. <laughs> we got the little one out, but this one's pretty big. Um, or these two are pretty big. So we're gonna see if he'll help us. Um, I vacuumed. I've cleaned the windows because I won't be able to do that for a while. I wish I knew why these windows have this film on them. This happened in another house we've lived in and I don't think you can get it off. I think it's between the um, panes because it's double paned glass, I think. So I don't know, I don't know. It just is, it doesn't come off. So I cleaned all the baseboards and then Lisa said, you know, he's probably gonna pop those off, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all my baseboards that are currently exposed are clean. Um, so whenever he gets here, it's a rainy day. Look, see how clean that one is and how not clean looking the other one is, even though it's clean, just drives me nuts. And now I won't have curtains on these windows, so it'll be more noticeable i'm gonna have to get blinds i'm gonna have to get blinds okay i'll keep you posted on what happens day one of installation oh we got the wayne's coating painted too but and by we i mean lisa did it but um i say we a lot when she does stuff but i think it needs another coat and we need to touch up right here where it Led through the painter's tape but yeah I think it needs another coat and then we have to decide do we paint the doors the same color as we painted the Wayne's coating which is called nebulous by the way um, if you want to know the paint colors we chose let me know um, I think actually this one is called storm cloud and then I know this is called nebulous I don't remember what brand. Sherwin Williams satin um, paint. Yeah. So nebulous white. I was wrong about that color. And then storm cloud is the other one. Yeah. So I'm happy with those. It's going to be hard to work today because I don't know. Um, so like see how everything's just everywhere. There's the extra Wayne's coating. I hate this, but it's just necessary. But our modem is up there. So when he's going to put this P 
piece in, all this is gonna still fit in there and all this will be hidden. And so that is gonna have to be disconnected if he does this piece today. So I'm a little, um, yeah, I'm a little concerned. But I mean, I do have um, a hot spot on my phone that I can hook up my um, iPad to anyway, so I could work that way um, here and there. Yeah, what a perfect time to do this during our, uh, I'm always socially <laughs> distant because of the work I do, but Lisa is also working at home and uh, you know does has some flexibility. She went in a little bit yesterday, but um, so we have some flexibility today to be home and do what we got to do and work when we got to work, which is perfect. Okay, I totally forgot to film before <laughs> he brought everything in and he worked all day yesterday and I didn't want to film and bother him, but so he's cut out part of the wall to put the TV and the internet and everything there. So it's all hidden. It's actually blocked now because my cat will get all the wires. So we've <laughs> created this block because he eats stuff. So here's the shelves. All this will have the um, beadboard behind it like this one does. All this, of course, has to be painted. <sighs> Sanded and painted. Here's the window seat. And then here's this one. They're not in place exactly the way they're gonna be, I don't think, but, and then this one is the one that goes up there. So, day three, technically. Day one, he brought everything in and had made an incorrect measurement, so he went back. Day two, he got this far. Well, actually today he just put this in really quick and then left because he needed something, I don't know what. This already has the beadboard behind it. Um, and then we're gonna make a window seat pillow for that. The little girls are gonna love that space so much. And then this will contain, this bigger space will contain our TV. So it'll be right there. Yeah, so oh, we're getting there, but holy cow, that's a lot of painting. So the good news about Corona virus COVID-19 is that <laughs> we've got nowhere to be for a while. We got nowhere we gotta go so we can paint and do whatever we want and need to do. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so I hadn't filmed after he left the other day. Um, but they're all installed, obviously. And we've actually sanded everything. There's the header. Oh, it's a dark, dreary day. We've actually sanded everything the last few days. Lisa put in the rest of the wainscoting here. And we're about to paint, as you can see. We're about to start painting. It is a humid, <laughs> cloudy day. It is Easter Sunday, or um, whatever holiday, religious holiday you've celebrated. There's this back area here. So up here, the TV, of course, is gonna go and everything is all ready for that. And then there's a hole for the modem wires, which the modem will go back there. And then we can also store other books or other things back there, I guess, but that'll be kind of wasted space, maybe. Not really wasted, I guess, but. And then this whole area will be Lisa's area. The TV there. And then the rest will be ours together or whatever. So, <laughs> mine, <Same>. she says. <laughs> the rest will be families and we think the children's books I may have said this in another video the children's books will go down there and we're gonna get a cushion and all that and curtains and yeah just gonna take a bit okay so here we go let the painting begin
Okay. This is, <sighs> this is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to put them away. So let me try to flip, show you what um, it looks like the other. I feel, oh, let me get my wine. I feel like I need one of those library ladders that, um, I'm sorry, I'm looking at, oh, I almost knocked over my TV. Oh, that would have been bad. I feel like I need one of those library ladders. It's a blanket. Um, <laughs> to get to the tops of the bookcases, but I, that wouldn't work. I don't, well, it might work, actually. Hmm. That might actually work. Because you have to get on a step stool for sure to get to the top of these shelves. So, let me tell you, the last three days we have worked really, really hard. Tomorrow, Rob will come and put the TV back in where it belongs. And, um... He'll just do some other things. We have a little, um, I'm all over the place, sorry. We have a little um, hole that he cut out for the bench area where we're going to put a cushion and hide it. But then when we have like Christmas things or whatever, we can plug lights in there. Um, we're going to look for some curtains and we have a curtain rod. And so, yeah, slow well, not real slow. I mean, we've worked really, really hard and I'm really, really tired and I wouldn't be having wine tonight except I just had a day and I found out, you know, some things and uh, from the past came up and, you know, you just have a day and you're just like, oh, so I am tired and I don't really know that I'll even read because I'm so tired. I'll probably be asleep in five minutes. I don't even know why I poured this wine. I should probably funnel it back in the bottle. Anyway, I'll keep progressing. I'll show you as we progress. I'll show you the end. The end, the end, the end is near. Okay. <laughs> it's done. Well, okay. The books are all back in and we have some other plans for some things. So it's not totally done, but honestly, if I keep this up, it won't be revealed for a while. And I want to start filming in here soon. So we do have some other things that we're going to add. Um, but here's the big reveal. We'll start with this section. I'm going to get a little weird glare because we still don't have curtains. We're still picking those out. So this is its own section. So we start with spiritual books, Bibles, and um, hymnals and things from my childhood and um, just some other, some other religious philosophies to some degree, a little bit, not a ton, but a couple. Um, I like to learn about all kind of religions. And um, then mostly related to money and brain thinking on this shelf. Um, neurological or neuroscience, not neurological, <laughs> neuroscience and poo. Cause you know, what goes better with <laughs> money and neuroscience than poo? Just kidding. The reason poo's here is because Lisa made me these a couple of months ago and we got them framed and put up right here by poo. The, that's the best place that they fit. So I could change that at some point, but not yet. Um, and I can't put Pooh down by the children's books where Pooh is because of the dogs will eat him. Okay, so um, these are all my Mike Dooley uh, books. I like Mike Dooley, um, Louise Hay, Martha Beck. So um, self-help mindset. Sorry, I drifted a little down. Sonia Choquette. Um, different things. Ooh, let me try that. Wayne Dyer. Um, I've read a lot of these, but not all. And so, you know, as I'm repopulating my shelves, I'm really thinking about what I'm going to keep and not keep. But, um, these are all written by coaches that are more self-help related, not how to coach. So they're here 
more self-help. And then this is all mindfulness kinds of stuff. Um, and the yoga is also mindfulness practices. And then here's some CDs that have some meditations. And so I've kept them all in one place by the mindfulness. And Billy Collins is actually poetry, but I could move him. I just realized he was there. Um, this cup, oh, sorry, I have a Kleenex in my hand. This cup is um, all my bookmarks that are string bookmarks because my cat will eat them if I don't put them up. So that's why they're all in here. Um, I found a bunch of them when I went through this. And this is supposed to keep that all up, but when I touched it, it didn't. And another bear, because you know, I love bears and again, the dogs will think he's their toy. And then down here is leadership, business building, but mostly leadership and success. Some books about entrepreneurism, um, kind of organizing your life and your day, um, productivity, teaming and group coaching, more books about coaching and the business of coaching and a little bit of consulting. So those are more business building and leadership development books. And then the daily meditation shelf, sort of daily reading shelves with my pig who um, flies. This is about money, but it's here because the rest of these are written by the same author. So uh, I put them all together, but um, these are also daily meditations. And this is the companion to this one, I think, or maybe it's just a, I don't know. It's a companion to all of them. Maybe then we get to writing and a little bit more self-help. And again, just because of the, because of the size of these shelves and how some books will fit in some areas and some will not, I did have to kind of think that through. So it is what it is, but, um, I've never read Happier at Home, but I did read Gretchen Rubin's first book, which I think was called The Happiness Project. But I was given Happier at Home a long time ago when it first came out, and I've never read it. Um, this is a daily thing, too, so I may move that to the other shelf, but I the other stuff of hers isn't... Well, I don't know. I may move that one. Um, some Brene Browns. All this is about writing and creativity for the most part and not that well that's writing blogging business yeah and then we get to creativity creative books and I got all these out of my crafty closet so these are not um, I'm gonna move Firestarter, but I don't know where because again it's kind of a big book and so it only fits on certain shelves so that's my restriction there I have never looked at the O's Guide to Life I got it in a bargain uh, shelf at Barnes and Noble years ago and I've never even cracked it open. So that might be in my, should I purge pile soon? Um, card making, book making, mini albums, things like that. Quilting, scrapbooking. Um, there might be something else in here. Uh, I used to have some books on candle making and um, soap making, and I'm clearly not going to do that ever in my life, or at least not now. So and then these are kind of miscellaneous. This is a creative book, so that's why it's here. These are caregiver books, which I recommended in a video about caregiving. Um, these two are nonfiction. These are stories um, that are probably nonfiction, but I don't know. They just kind of tucked in there, and it, it's, it's a work in progress. So in the window seat, which has some stuff on it because we're still hanging things and I got to send these to my friend and the cat likes a blanket up there and we are going to put a cushion there. That's one of the things that we're going to do later. So middle grade, it's all I own in middle grade, Harry Potter, <clears throat> all of those are together. Um, I do have a little tassel that I got from a Barnes and Noble event when those, um, we're happening at midnight and I know that my cat will chew it. So it's not there. Um, children's books. So the kids can sit in the window seat and pick the book that they want to read. 
And then these are some books from my childhood and well, one of, or two of them are recent, but <clears throat> they're books I associate really with childhood or that I got in childhood. And you can see that some of them, sorry, I'm just I'm moving. The camera is moving too, but you can see that some of them are in pretty bad shape. Um, Basil of Baker Street, I've literally had since I was a kid. Um, yeah. And then those Disney books, which are in horrid shape. I don't want to get rid of because you can't get them anymore. America is upside down. Um, the Wizard of Oz, the Bobsy Twins, a three story book, Louisa May Alcott all together and Winnie the Pooh. So those are the books I kind of associate with being little. All right, next section is this one, which is the biggest section of all. So, um, start here, this whole section, which is of course attached, but it's one whole section is mystery and psychological thriller. So we start with Agatha Christie, one of my top mystery authors. The first one I really read a lot from, and then a variety of thriller mystery hardback except for the shadow of the wind and then some more hardback i tried to keep them all together but i did run out of room in some cases to keep them so um more mysteries now i have um another one of these which i'm actually currently reading and then i have some of these in paperback but i decided to separate the ones that were hardback so they're there and again, I may, it's a work in progress. I may change my mind. I kept these paperbacks here because they go with his other books. And there's one paperback in the corner. And then all the Patricia Cornwells are together. I tried to keep authors together when I could. Dan Brown, then some disparate authors there. And then mostly trade pap paperbacks in this shelf. But Tana French is a hard, this one's a hardcover. But again, just, you know to keep the authors together. Sometimes I did that. And then this bottom shelf is all tiny, regular, mass market paperbacks of, of, of mysteries. And there are two shelves deep for the moment because I have a lot of those and I could actually get more because I could have room for another whole bit. Then on the bottom of this next area, we start with... I'm calling this shelf romance, but it really isn't. Um, and I just see now that this should not be there. That is a mistake. So I'm going to have to move that. And that may be tricky to do. Um, nevertheless, all my benches together here. And um, then I've got, which are somewhat romance, but they're really not. And then these are romance, but I didn't have a whole nother shelf there's just not enough of them. You know, I don't have a lot of romance um, of any kind. So that's what I kind of consider those to be. Sorry, I may have been up a little bit more too. This shelf is all um, horror. And um, I don't have a ton of that, but I may have ordered more. Now, Edgar Allan Poe is in there and he probably could go in classics, but he's in horror because... That's where I want him right now. This is a bleed over for <laughs> classics, which are actually over here. So they are all what I consider to be classics, classic literature, and some of it is modern classic literature. And then um, Step for Wives could go to horror if I choose to move it. Yeah, that one could. All right, then, oops. <clears throat> the next shelf, shelf is historical fiction. And so I have another Kate Atkinson, which is mystery, but it's not here. It's a trade paperback, and it's not historical fiction at all. I'm counting Diane Setterfield here, but I probably don't have to. But again, um, it's... <sighs> It, it's a space thing, I think. But these are all definitely historical fiction. My Diana Gabaldons. Ga ga my Diana Gabaldons. Goodness. And my favorite 
candle that Megan got me that I have yet to burn because I'm I don't want to ruin it. I mean, I don't want to lose it. These are also historical fiction. My Kate Mortons are together. I would still love to find a version of the house at or not the house at Riverton. That is what this is. Um, the other one, shoot, that I want. Anyway, I'd love to find more all of hers in that format at some point. Um, yeah, and these are kind of all World War II related, except for Mrs. Poe. Um, these are, oh, look at that. These are actually, and I need to pull these library covers off. These are historical fiction too. You'll see that's kind of the biggest, um, <laughs> that's my genre, I guess. That and mystery thriller. Um, these are Civil War, uh, written by Ellsworth Thane. I've loved them since I was young. My sisters love them. My mother loved them. It's a complete set. They're out of print. They're hard to find. And after Katrina, I lost my original copy. So my sister replaced it. And that was lovely of her. And uh, so I have that. And um, those were published by the People's Book Club, which my mother had tons of. And I have somewhere as well in a box somewhere. More historical fiction. And Anne Patchett, while they might not all be considered historical fiction, they're all together. And I have another book by Charlie Lovett that Megan borrowed that I'm going to get back. And I also have another Sarah Waters that Megan borrowed that I'm going to get back. So that's going to change some things around here. Then these um, top two shelves are really sort of contemporary, even though some of them are older. Um they're considered contemporary, I guess. And there's my Gail Godwins, hence my um, need to move the other Gail Godwin up to here. Um, but for the most part, these are all contemporary, would be considered contemporary fiction. Um, some from Ireland when I used to have my, um, these are all from Ireland when I used to have my monthly shipment from Kenny's bookshop. It's a whole nother year. All right, then here in the corner, this is all poetry all the way to the back. So I may move those forward. I'm not sure yet. Um, this is covering up the wire so Sheldon won't eat the internet stuff. And then this is going to be my shelf. So spoiler alert, these are giveaways for upcoming videos. And this will be where I keep my haul books and the books that I'm going to film about for the month, and then I'll put them back. At least that's the plan for now, because it's empty. Then this is nonfiction. So these are kind of um, historical nonfiction. This is not. This is actually from childhood, so I might move it, because I read it when I was a kid. I am going to move that, actually, now that I say that. If I don't do it now, I'll forget. Um, Christmas, just general nonfiction. And then World War II, oh, here's my more book marks. World War II nonfiction takes up a good bit of space. And then some other history about place and people and political nonfiction is back there. And Katrina nonfiction is way in the back. So that's um, good and full. And then this is other nonfiction. Biography is here in the back. And then, um, or, or autobi autobiography or biography, then a little bit of, um, other like country history or stuff and, or place, I guess it's about place region. That would be a little bit of true crime. All my Eric Larson's, which are a mixture of things. And then this is kind of humor. And graphic novels. I don't have but two graphic novels in my whole collection. And my Garrison Keelers. Whoops. Then more classic literature, as I mentioned earlier, that spills over to the shelf next to it. So you can see that. I don't know why I pushed this back so far, except probably because I don't want my dogs to get that. Which is actually a dog toy that came in a bark box. And I... Um, commandeered it for myself. And then my 
Nancy Drew collection, which is, I don't know how I'm gonna handle that. And for now, because I have room, these are games because the little girls love to pull games. And so those are there. And this is my jar of stuff that Candace and Adeline made for me for Christmas. It's a jar of things that I can open up when I'm sad or when I need encouragement um, or need to know how much they love me. It's so sweet that they did that for me. I covered it with washi tape. <laughs> and then this is Lisa's area. So these are, and it's a very sad thing, but these are all the pets that we have uh, lost that have grown old with us. And um, we've had them cremated and we have their remains there, I know. And that book up top is one that her mother owned. And so she has that and put that there. And these are her um, biographies. I think, I mean, I'm gonna assume these are her biographies or autobiographies. And Leah Remini is actually her, so I couldn't give that away even if I had decided to. And this is her spiritual religious uh, shelf. Lisa actually has a master's degree in divinity, so um, she, you know, but spiritual and religion is there. And then just, I guess, uh, some art. And it looks like, um, I guess the art of not <laughs> giving up mm, is also there. That's funny some watercolor stuff and some other things that belong to her or her family. And then some like mystery or supernatural for her. And then a piece of art that we both love. And dogs, it's the collection of dog books, dog related books is what Lisa gets the most of either by purchasing or by people giving them to her. She also loves Wonder Woman. So she's been gifted or purchased a lot of books about Wonder Woman, her Gregory Maguire collection, which there's one more that's on her nightstand, which is Hidden Sea that she got for Christmas. And so um, Alphaba is by the Wicked Tomes, a little bit of George R.R. R. Martin, and she loves J.D. Robb, so those are there. And then some more mysteries. She loves some other mystery authors as well. We read a lot of mysteries. She has a lot of Charlene Harris for a while. I think she's read every one of the uh, Sookie Stackhouse series. I have not. I gave up at some point. I don't remember where. And she also loves Carolyn Haynes and the Bones series. So she has all of those. I think, well, maybe not all of them. Some of them on Kindle. So that, <laughs> oh, and there's a couple here too. I didn't even, under the TV, sorry. She also loves Christopher Moore. So he is one of her other go-to authors. So she has all of his except um, one that we lent to um, our son and one that is coming out soon. I think April, May, I don't know. And then a couple um, humor are here. These two are nonfiction and I think both of these are fictional humor. And then um, these are here. This one I'm unhauling, I think, or did I decide to keep it? I can't remember, but these are here actually to keep Sheldon from going underneath there until we get these new kinds of cord protectors. And then th these two are about the evil queen. And this one is just a first edition, sorry, of some of a book about, I think it's about a dog <laughs> that we got recently. And then I don't know where I'm going to put this. It's like making me nuts. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that eventually. And then this is a new candle we bought. And there's our our sweet Candace when she was young, young, young. She's not that young now. So, and then actually the stuff we've decided to hang. Lisa got me this a while ago. It's an English mailbox replica. So we have that by my office door so I can, um, she can pop notes or mail or whatever in there. And then these are all of our CDs that are actually in a library card kind of, um, cabinet. We've had that for a really long time and they're actually all labeled. I'm so organized there. And these two don't really fit, but they're two of our, we listen to these two a lot actually. Then this is some local artist 
art. Walter Anderson, he died long ago, but I got that for at least a few Christmases ago. This is a grouping of our family pictures, whoops, from uh, last year, a year ago. So we gotta do that again, cause we have a baby. That's the half bath. And then these, so she got me, when we thought we were gonna sell the house and move, she got me a bunch of prints from England and Ireland. And um, this is one of them and we've never hung them. So you can see the little flag there on the, um, I don't know what you call that on the bluff, maybe. So um, she framed that for me. And then we bought this in Williamsburg this last winter when we went from a guy who worked at the place we were staying and he was a photographer and we just loved it. So we bought that and his name is something Weber. Can you know, you can't see, there it is. So that's hung up. So kind of, it's kind of a colonial blue, Williamsburg blue color. So this is some art we bought years ago. And this is actually a map of Bay St. Louis in, it was actually then called the St. Louis Bay and Shieldsboro Harbor. And that map is from 1857, it looks like. So, and there's my crazy Game of Thrones lamp. So we obviously need curtains. We're thinking about putting a quote up there in vinyl. It's something we're gonna consider. Other than that, that is the final, for now, tour. And I will begin filming very soon, right here. Um, that's my plan. So I hope you liked this very long vlog and reveal of our new area, our new space in the house that we love. I've been reading in here. I have been enjoying this immensely. I can't wait um, to, to just expand it. I have already ordered some books you'll see in a haul, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking with me and putting up with my craziness. Oh, and look, I have one full blank shelf. Oh, the possibilities. I have lots of room, don't I? Lots of books to come. Stay tuned. Thanks so much. Bye.